Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. So today we have day three of the SP Fit five day free challenge. The past two days have been incredible. The women are crushing it. Uh, I have some calls today, so I have a lot of work and I'm back to vlogging. So it's super, super weird to vlog, to be on camera, to like show my day. But I already got my coffee, I got my computer, I got a tripod, I got my phone. So yeah, I just have a lot of things to do, um, but I'm definitely beginning in a workout today. But mainly, um, you know, I do have a lot of calls and I have the challenge that starts at four and my calendar reminding me of all the things that I need to do with every minute of the day. So I am definitely more schedule oriented, I would say before. Um, you know, it's like it went about my day to things I have to do, but I pretty much am like down to the wire, like minute by minute of how my day goes. So I'm very good at planning it and making sure I'm the most efficient in each day. So happy Wednesday, guys. Today's already a great start to the day. Let's do this. So I'm currently making some breakfast. I'm having two eggs in here. I like to scramble it. I'm not super fancy with anything I do as far as food. I'm just not. And then I'm gonna have some oatmeal with it. These are the oats that I use from Whole Foods. And then I just add some water like this. All right, so I have some dishes in this thing. Don't judge me. Probably gonna need a little bit more water, but I like to eat really thick oatmeal. So I try to do a little bit first, and if I need to add more, I do. I have a gas, so it cooks so quickly. I've also had electric before, and things just don't cook as quickly, which is pretty obvious. Like, but anyways, done. It's already done. It just amazes me, like it amazes me, like how fast things cook versus gas versus electric. Um, but I'm gonna eat some breakfast now. My first phone call of the day starts in 20 minutes, so it'll give me enough time to eat. And then I'll be on the phone for the next like four hours. And then I have my challenge, so. And then we'll get in a workout. So we have a few things to do and it's going good. So this is everything I put on my oatmeal. I do a little bit of cinnamon, so like this. A little bit. And I do salt. I don't know if everybody does this, but I got into salt on my oatmeal maybe like three or four years ago and I became obsessed with it. I think it's really good. Look how thick it is. I'm team thick oatmeal for sure. Can I help you? Can I help you with something? There's something you need help with. You're always very involved, right? Always very involved. And this is the final product. Again, non-aesthetic at all. Literally not aesthetic. But it's good. Does the job. Gives me energy. Let's eat. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm about to take the babies out. We're going to go for a nice little walk. Well, they're going to go to the dog park, actually. We're not going to go for a walk. Um, I'm going to go also get some dinner. I've been working this entire day. The only thing I had was the oatmeal and the egg. So I'm pretty hungry. So I'm gonna actually take them with me. They're gonna get an opportunity to go in the car. They never go in the car. So um, they're gonna go today after we do the dog park time. And I'll show you guys what I get. We are walking. This is like my little hot tub. It's like, it's it's all, it's a big hot tub. It's really nice. Who's my cute boy? And my other cute boy. Nice day. park we have next to the building. Milo! Lee! Come on! How does it feel to be in the car, guys? Hey! Who's in the car? Milo and Louie's in the car. Let's go to Air One. It's gonna be so good. I got my Air One. I'll show you what I got when I get home. You are nuts. Absolutely not. So when I got out of the car and left them in the car with the window crack literally going in for just like two minutes um, My car was the alarm kept going off and I got off the car left them in the car And he was like walking on the thing in the car that was causing the alarm to go off. So I went back and I Like opened the car door and was like 
put him somewhere else and I would try to walk back into Erewhon and he does it again and so my car alarm is going off again everybody's looking at me and I just wind up having to leave the car unlocked and um, I went and got the food I was literally like three minutes total but he's nuts he can't just like sit still and it was extremely embarrassing I'm usually always team salmon, but we did chicken today, sweet potatoes, and broccoli. It looks amazing. What's up, guys? So it is the end of the night, and I'm eating this, like, flourless chocolate cake. I, like, eat a little bit at a time. I got it yesterday. It's from Air One. I really like it. Um, I'm not even a chocolate person, but it doesn't really taste like chocolate. It's, like, I don't even know. I gotta find out the exact ingredients, but it's like made with like dates and um, like cocoa powder and like stuff like that, like not like actual real chocolate, like that kind of stuff. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but it's really good. If you're ever going to Air One, try the flourless chocolate cake, highly recommend. Um, but I'm about to go to bed soon and I just wanted to say that something like that was like kind of on my mind, but I spend a crazy amount of time by myself like a crazy amount of time by myself and um i think being with yourself and having a relationship with yourself is really important i think you know me a year ago couldn't be by myself even for a couple days <laughs> um or like two years ago or you know, things like that so I, it's just like kind of different to spend a lot of time by myself and not know like when you know I am going to spend time with more people I don't know it's such a weird feeling like I don't really have like many friends at all that's how I've always been growing up so yeah I had a really bad high school experience and from that experience I switched high schools and I just spent a lot of time by myself and with my family like I just had like a crazy experience growing up as a kid and I just was somebody like I said like I just like being with my family but I'm not around my family like you know when I moved out you know just you know being in a relationship not being in a relationship just like being by yourself and not really having many friends it does get difficult sometimes and it's normal I think is it not normal I don't know but um, I'm trying to figure out like really what I want like, what do I want out of a relationship? What do I want out of any relationship in my life? Friendship, romantically, whatever. But I'm trying to really figure out myself right now what I want. Because I was somebody who was kind of just doing whatever the other person wanted. As far as, like, romantically. Like, just conform with to whatever they want. But, like, even if my needs weren't being met. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, everything I actually want and the kind of people, the friends I do want to have. Because I do want to have more friends. I think I do. Like, I do. Like, I don't know. But obviously, you know, you are, you are who you attract. So I'm more of like a calm, chill person, I think. And I'm not like, you'll not, you won't catch me in the club twerking or anything like that. <laughs> um, so I definitely don't have that personality. But I just like, you know, just to have like some friends. And this might sound super lame, to be honest. But I don't know if anybody else can relate to this. So this is just how I'm feeling. And I'm just trying to find more peace in just being with me. And learning more about me and what I'm capable of because you know when you spend every waking moment with somebody else right how they think how they feel you know you, you know it just it just deflects onto you and you know you're putting their needs first in some things and I'm kind of just like putting myself first right now like completely and I have my two dogs as you can hear probably in the background I have my two dogs and I love them and I'm very grateful for them as my Louie is looking at me <laughs> and that's pretty much it so it's been a really good day I'm just feeling grateful I'm out here in California and my family's on the other side of the country they're one phone call away so I'm grateful that my family is just like you know just the best I can call them anytime and they'll be there to help me with whatever I'm struggling with so or just to say hi. Now, I'm not going to have to be struggling. But 
this is a high so i love california like i'm not gonna keep going okay i do love california i love where i live like it's my favorite place in the whole world i'm never as excited to be anywhere besides here like i like florida a lot i really do like i had fun in miami like i would travel there all the time but at the end of the day like where do i want to wake up and go to bed every single day it's definitely california like i just it's just more my speed it just matches my personality like really really well and um i'm grateful so all right well that concludes all the footage from today and i will see you guys tomorrow good morning guys happy thursday so i'm about to take the babies out they're pacing all around they're definitely ready to go i love this cute little top i got it from pack sun i think i think it's so cute it's like super simple i just ordered a few like crop tops off of amazon so when they come in i'm going to show you but it, like it literally costs like nothing and they're cute like i like like simple cute crop tops it's like definitely my thing um but my dogs are definitely ready to go out got a full day ahead as always today's day four of the sp5 day free challenge the most important day of the challenge so it's gonna be fun and i have calls for about four hours today and that's gonna be great as well so i just have like a few things to do and we're ready right we're ready to go for a walk right <laughs> let's do this be right back okay this was one of my big girl purchases of 2021 i did get a new car you guys remember i rocked the honda i had the honda for almost 10 years served me well the honda definitely served me well like i love the honda it was great um just got to a point where it just had kind of like issues and i wasn't happy driving it so your girl got a new car and this is a 2021 um i wanted to get this version of it because it had the black wheels and i just really like the black wheels so i did want an suv i knew that i did not want to drive a car anymore so we are here in the suv and this is my car <laughs> it was so weird like buying a car like i never like did that myself last time i got a car my dad obviously helped me do the whole thing i did put majority of the money down on it but my dad like helped me and i did it all myself this time so it was very very different yeah so we're gonna go get a coffee and let's do this my friend sarah just picked up the dogs and they're going for a nice walk and i am going to go to the gym i can actually go to the gym and relax and uh, I know that they're being walked and taken care of, so I definitely want to be on more of a schedule of having them, you know, go walk while I go to go do my thing, um, and then I don't mind like doing the nighttime with them. So let's go to the gym. It's gonna be good, and I haven't worked out in a few days, so I'm probably gonna whatever I do, I'm gonna feel it. I know for sure. But let's do it. All right. So today we are doing a leg workout. I'm gonna film it today. I haven't filmed a workout in a hot second. Let's do this. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us doing cardio like on the machine I figured I'd just go for a walk and yeah we're doing it this is the other elevator it has like mirrors everywhere the other one is like a freight elevator there's like another part to the complex it's like a girls seating area things like that. okay so yesterday I did not include this in the vlog because I wasn't feeling my best 
So obviously when you're not feeling good, you don't want to go on camera. Like I'm not going to do that, right? Um, so yesterday I cried for the first time in a very long time. So I, when I went through the, the pain, and not pain, but like the challenges of, in 2017, 2018 with my relationship, with my lifestyle, with my body, when I was just like suffering through each day, like trying to do the best I can and make it through each day, I cried like a crap ton. I must have cried every day almost for like two years. Then after I felt like I became kind of numb to that emotion, I became num numb to sadness. And it's kind of something I'm realizing now that I didn't really know before. But yeah, so like whenever like I'm feeling upset, I'm used to like just suppressing that emotion and not really allowing myself to feel it. So I like distract myself, I go on my phone, I you know, go to work or whatever. Like I'm just very programmed to do that because like I avoid that emotion. It brings me back to like so many days and weeks and months of just crying, crying, crying. So, um, but yeah, I like let it out. I let it out like really, really hard yesterday and I cried and um, I called my dad and I was like hysterical. And then I called him like two hours later and I was laughing about it. And I was like, I'm slapping on myself. Like really, I, I, I cannot believe like I, I allow myself to suppress my emotions that way when it's it's okay to feel upset. It's really okay and um, you can feel it and I feel like I let myself really feel it so I can acknowledge it, become more self-aware and release, right? Whatever tension that was building up, that game, why, why do we cry? We, we release. So I release that emotion I was suppressing. And um, yeah, so like what, what, what emotion was I was suppressing? I don't really want to get too much into that because it is very personal. Um, but you know, just being here on my own and you guys know that I was living, you know, with somebody else for four years. So, you know, when you're by yourself and you have two dollars and you're running a business and I'm sure there's people who like have a family and like have so much more responsibility than me and still run a business and things like that. But everything kind of like hit me all at once and yesterday and I was just like like it's, it's just me like it's just me here and you know I, I want to be like more open to like making friends and you know, I'm very like I've just been so used to being like closed off to people just from like my childhood years and it probably stems from there like I'm just very closed off when it comes to like um, developing friendships and it's just something I'm recognizing. I'm becoming more self-aware of that and just acknowledging it and um, being open to whatever comes my way and trusting that everything is working out exactly the way it's supposed to be. God always has a plan and I trust in it. And yeah, so I just really kind of wanted to share that. I don't know if anybody else could relate, but yeah, I have, I do very much suppress that emotion of sadness and like I don't really cry. So to do that yesterday, I just kind of felt really good. And I got to release, <laughs> I feel much better. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and I just finished my workout and it's gonna be super good. And then I have calls from 12 to four and then I have the challenge. So it's going good, it's a warm day, it's super, super nice out. So I'm definitely gonna go outside and take my calls there. Um, right outside that like hot tub area that I showed you guys, I'm definitely going to take my calls there because it is so warm out and I've definitely gotten used to the Florida weather. So like anytime it's like 80 degrees or higher, I'm just like, yes, yes, like give me all the heat. I will take the heat any day. I definitely think I'm meant to be like somewhere tropical because I just love the heat. Like I don't care any which way it is. Like I love the heat. So, anyways, let's make some breakfast and I'll show you guys what I eat. And here we have it. Plant-based protein mixed with oatmeal and then we have some peanut butter on the top with salt and cinnamon. This is a perfect post-workout meal. It's my first meal of the day. I worked out fasted today. I'm somebody who likes to work out on, in a fasted state, so um, I always opt for that. And then this is the this is what I'm actually drinking to break my fast. So 
Um, I'm gonna eat this and then I have some work to do. So let's just do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm headed down to the hot tub. I'm gonna go take my calls down there. Oh yeah. I think it's cute. It's nice when I have like, this little cover up, which I'm obsessed with. All right, let's do it. All right, so it's my midday meal. We have the vegan burger, the Trader Joe's with rice and green beans. And I got these at Trader Joe's as well. And just heat them up in the microwave. Super easy, very simple. All right, so I'm about to go live for day four. See, this is where I go live. I like share my screen. And when I go live, like people can comment here. So I'm not actually going live like from the Facebook website. It's from like a different website and it just makes it easier so that because like Facebook currently doesn't have a feature where I can share my screen and show my face at the same time. So this website allows that and um, it's super user friendly and it's just really, really great way to go live and teach and it's just awesome. Okay, um, but I'm gonna do day four now and I'm super pumped and I will talk to you guys soon. I must change my outfit like so many times in a day, but I'm wearing these Lululemon pants, this top from Forever 21, and this jacket from Forever 21, which I really like. We're about to go out. They're super ready, they got their harnesses on. Um, then I'm gonna have some dinner. I don't even know if I have anything here, to be honest, like I need to go food shopping. So I might pick up um, if I don't have anything. I might, but if I don't, I'll just pick it up. And I just, tomorrow I need to go food shopping. Like, that's a must. Need to go food shopping. Um, but I'm gonna take them out and I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I stopped being lazy and I made myself some dinner. And I had salmon in the freezer, so I made that. And I made some sweet potato fries that you can get from Trader Joe's. I really don't have any vegetables left besides those green beans that I had earlier today. I don't feel like eating them again. Um, so tomorrow I need to go stock up on all the greens, all the veggies, fuel my body correctly. Um, so, but I'm glad I made something at home because sometimes when I don't do the grocery shopping, I'll definitely use that as an excuse to go pick up something. But your girl, made some dinner and I want to get in a better habit of you know just always having everything I need in the refrigerator and if I don't like like just ordering it or going to get it um definitely opt for meals that are made from home versus not obviously you just like know what's in it it's better for you help with your progress better so I am trying to just keep good and feel my body right because I have been feeling really good when I wake up in the morning each day and I know when I wake up feeling really good and energized I know I'm in the right direction I know I've been filling my body with really good food so your body always speaks to you and it's telling you you know when it's when it's being fed the right things or not I'm sure you already know that but okay I'm gonna eat this dinner and I'm probably just gonna close out the vlog here. Like there's really no other content for today. It's like almost nine o'clock at night. I'm gonna eat my dinner. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm a grandmom. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.